Time to play Family Feud. What's going on, everybody? How you doing? It's your boy, Be back with you once again for another edition of Family Feud right here at MVG Productions. Glad you could join me here once again. Now, on the last few times I've played uh, Family Feud, we've had some good episodes, we've had some bad episodes, and then we've had some god-awful ones. I'm hoping today is another one I can add to that winning column here, as we continue on playing some more Family Feud right here on the tin. So, play along with me, let me know how well you did in the comments below. And now, let's jump into today's game. Here we go. Say hello to our players, going head-to-head -head against the average score of our expert players. Let's play The Family Feud! We surveyed 100 people. The top seven answers are on the board. Here's what we asked them. First one of the day is this. Name something people do on their birthday. Have a party. Good answer. Let's take a look. Yeah, there you go. That's the way. Go again. Now, this is something I should actually know of really well, because by the time this episode has aired, I will have just celebrated my 35th birthday, and I am officially old enough to run for president now. Holy cow. <laughs> I just now realize that. That's scary. I'm not running in 2020, just to let you know, although I'd have a good chance, but nonetheless. Um, I hope it's I'll sleep on my Let's birthday. Uh, I'll have to give you a strike. Well, you get another try at it. Uh, they eat cake. Survey says... Yes. Yes, way to go. There are still more up there. Um... Well, something I like to do. Wake up Go and dancing. smell the answers. Oh, okay. Oh, that's two strikes. That's okay. You have another shot at it. Um, they open presents. I like that answer. Is it there? Yep. That's the way. Go again. Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? What else? Open presents. Eat cake. Have a party. They make a wish. Let's take a look. Yes, you want candle, Good not make a wish. You got one. Let's, Let's get, get another one. Alright. Um Have their favorite food for Survey dinner. Says, no. That was the last strike. Okay. It seemed like a reasonable answer, but just didn't make Let's it. Let's see number next. three. What was three? Yeah. Celebrate. Let me see four, of course. Please. Four. I said Show dinner, but eh, anyway. And drink, of course. Okay, I let's see. Got how one you're of doing. those, at least. Excellent. You got a one point lead. So it needs one point. Let's see if we can keep that lead. Round two. We surveyed 100 people. The top six answers are on the board. Here we go. Let's try this one. Name something a travel agent asks when you call to make a an airline reservation. How about your name? Good answer. Let's take a look. That's the way. Go again. Um, date of travel? Survey says... Wow, there's still more up there. Well, there's a partial date. There should be an arrival. Got that answer. Try okay. again. Um, in the style of acapella. Where do you want to go? I like that answer. Is it there? Fail. That should have okay. made. I should have got it up there just for the singing alone. But nonetheless, um, I'll ask you when you call to make a reservation. Uh, how many? Survey says. Really? Nope. Sorry, it's not on the board. 
That's your second strike. Do you have another shot at it? Oh. That's interesting. Oh, uh, well. I'm making airline reservation. How about well, how many tickets? Let's see. Really? Oh, Not nice there. Okay. Let's take a look at what you missed. Number one. Number one answer. Where do you want to go? That's Number freaking three. destination. Come on. Fail. Let's see it. So much fail on number one. Come on, six. And let's see, see. It. Credit card number, departure time, and price preference. Should have been given number one. Let's see Just who's say it, but nonetheless. All right. All right. Next Behind by a little bit. Let's see if we can play catch up going into round number three. Time for round three. Point values are doubled. We surveyed 100 people. The top five answers are on the board. Here's what we asked them. All right, name something people get their fingers caught in. Um, I like that answer. Is it there? What a finger trap. No, oh, that's not one of our top answers. I'll have to give you a strike. Let's try again. Something painful. Show How about me. a window? There you go. Yes, way to go. Go again. How about a door? Let's take a look. There what we go. Answer. What else? Needed that one. How about closing of a Survey drawer? Says. There we go. Good job, you got one. Go again. Windows, doors, drawers. Um, I've done this once. It was impressive, but it still hurts. Uh, how about a zipper? Let's take a look. Not there. That's two strikes. I know you can do better than that. Uh, let's see. Name people something. Go. Um, windows, doors, drawers. Um, How about and just in a hole in general? Survey says in a hole. A hole. Uh, okay, let's see what you missed. Let's see number three. Cookie jar. Makes sense. Show us four, please. And a cabinet. Well, all right. Let's look at those scores. Still, right, still behind out. by eight points. No, seven points. Seven points behind. It's not so I need at least two out of these last however many four. answers. Point for this values round. are tripled. We surveyed 100 people. The top four answers are on the board. Here's Probably the need to get at least three of them to move on. Name a famous golfer. Uh, I hope it's up there. Let's see. Tiger Woods. That's the way. What else? Uh. Dang it, what is his name? Uh, I know him by, like, nicknames, but I can't think of, um... Uh... Oh, the it. drink's made after him. It's, um, um, uh... Dang it, what's it called? Sorry, out of time. Okay, it's a strike. That's okay. You have another shot at it. What is the, uh, it's, um... Arnold Palmer, that's his name. Yeah, the, the, uh, I was trying to think of the drink, because I, I make them all the time, but I forget his name half the time. You mix lemonade and sweet tea so together. It says... It's called an Arnold Palmer. There we go. Okay, it's there. There's no more up there. All right, who's the guy Tiger just played in a tournament not too long ago for like a million dollars specifically? Like, um, It's Phil something. Phil... What's his last name? Phil. 
Not Donahue films. Um, uh oh. Oh, Mickelson. Um, M I C K E L S O N. Hopefully, show me Mickelson. Oh, that's not one of our top answers. Okay, strike two. That's okay. Um, I need one more. Oh God, what? I can't. I legitly, my brain cannot wrap around this. Oh, um. Jack Nicholas. Um uh, I think Happy Gilmore somebody in the movie mentioned him. Jack Nicholas. No? Okay. okay what I got use? nobody else then. Three, let's see it. Who else? Payne Stewart. Let's see number four. Never heard of him. Annika Sauten. Again, never heard of him. But I at least got the two that I knew. So, I don't feel bad about missing the last two. Question is, though, will it be enough for me to win the game? Let's find out. Well, what's the final score? Do you go on to Fast Money? 504, 44, yes, we're going. Let's go for Fast Money. 20,000 bonus points. It's Fast Money. I will never, I will try to remember his name. Arnold Palmer for the rest of my day. If you don't know an answer, you can pass and we'll come back to it. All right. 60 seconds, please. Let's go. Get ready. Here we go. Of course, five questions in 60 seconds and plan for 200 points. Name an animal that can live in the cold. Uh, polar bear. Name a mistake a pizza chef might make on the first day of the job. Forgot a topping. Name a piece of information required for a college application. Name. Yes. Besides clothes, name something the 50-foot woman might have trouble finding in her size. Um, it says besides clothes. Um, I guess shoes are considered clothes, but they're the first thing came up with, so I'm going with shoes. Finally, name a famous person whose last Ooh, name is Colin. Favorite singer, Phil Collins. Good for you. I can feel it Let's see coming in the air tonight. Hold on. Let's see if I how well we do this time around. First one was name an animal that can live in the cold. You said? Polar bear. Obviously. Serve you said. Nice. Good start. We asked this question. All right. Name a mistake a pizza chef might make the first day on the job. You answered? You forget a topping in a pizza. It's happened to everybody who's ever made pizza before. Survey said. Six. Okay. We ask you. Uh, name a piece of information required for a college application. And you said. Duh. Your name. Survey said. There we go. This was the question. Besides clothes, name something the 50-foot woman might have trouble finding in her size. Well, I went with the next obvious answer. You gave us? Shoes, because if you're a 50 foot tall woman, I don't want to know what size shoe you wear. I just know you have a foot that's way bigger than mine. Survey said 54. Nice. Theoretically, I could do this in one swoop. I need 42 points. Name a famous last person whose last name is Collins. You said Phil Collins, of course, um, of Genesis fame. And a storied solo career for 42 points. Survey says. Oh, are you kidding me? 199. Again for those 200 points. Oh. All right. I, I just have to question. get one if answer on the sound round. One seconds, answer, and I got this. Try again. And I know I'm gonna get it on the clock. first one because I already seconds, know please. a perfect answer for that top one. The questions. Go. Name an animal that can live in the cold. Penguin. I know I've got it. But just in case I don't, name a pizza, name a steak, shisha chef might make on the first day. Didn't cut the pizza. Uh -huh. Name a piece of information required for a college application. You have your name, uh, your address. 
Besides clothes, name something that fifty foot one mile five her will have found it in her size. How about a bra? And finally, name a famous person whose last name is Colin. Famous uh Famous guitar player. Uh, Bootsy Collins. Yes! Alright! Let's check the fast money score. Did you make the 20,000 point bonus? I got 199 in my first go around. My first answer is Penguin. If Penguin didn't make it, then maybe. But I'm pretty sure I got this. We asked this question. Of course, name an animal that can live in the cold. You answered? Penguin. I just need one person to have said Penguin. And I get 20,000 points. Survey said. There That's it is. 200 points. You just Give won my money. money. Plus 20,000 bonus points. All right, let's Whoa. add everything up. You got the consecutive wins in a row award. You just won another top score award. Yes. I will take it. 504, 221, and 20,000 points for a grand total of 21,775. Wow. I'm glad that I did get Penguin because the rest of my answers did not even make the survey. Wow. That's harsh. Let's see all the number one answers. The animal that can live in the cold is a polar bear. A mistake a pizza chef might make, burn the pizza. A piece of information required for confiscation. Name, I said that. Besides uh, clothes, name something a 50 foot woman might have to trouble finding in her size. Shoes, of course. And a famous person's last name is Colin, Phil. I got four out of the five Great number one team. answers my first Come time through. Come on back through, and play so. the Family Feud. I'm not even mad at that. That is a new high score. And puts me number two on the solo playlist for this one, so a good run on that one to say the least. Alright. That's a way that's a good way to wrap up uh, this edition of the Family Feud. So thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you like the series and want to see more of it, all you gotta do is click that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVG Productions. Help me reach my 1,000 subscriber goal. But in the meantime, between time, until we'll, so we got more surveys coming your way, and I have another chance to earn myself another 20,000 bonus points, I'm your friend Scrub saying thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time right here for another edition of The Family Feud. Take care. Bye for now, folks.